everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site today. I was doing a little bit of carpentry work, as you can see to your right, I got this wall finished up over here, and the stairs down to your left are all set. Now you can get to any floor of the house without having to use ladders and that's a pretty good feeling. The most important thing I did today though was to have a meeting with a new electrician. As I mentioned a couple days ago, I found out that while you can do your own electrical wiring in this area, if it's a new construction, you can't. You need to hire an electrician for that. So uh, I asked the building inspector, not the building inspector, the electrical inspector, if he could recommend someone that he felt did decent work. And I know that's always kind of like a uh, a sketchy line for them because you know they're government employees they can't like advocate for you know one business over another but uh, you know I told him I've just had so many problems with contractors I just want somebody that he knows is gonna do a good job he referred me to a couple names and I met with one of them today and I was pretty pleased with them they seem like they know what they're doing and they are also gonna be totally cool with me doing a lot of the wiring work myself they're fine with me pulling the wires cutting the electrical boxes and they, they seem like they were even cool with me doing some of the wiring, like hooking up the, uh, the outlets and hooking up some of the switches. Uh, I think he kind of wanted to feel me out to see whether it sounded like I kind of know what I'm doing, whether I've done this before, or whether you know I was going to like mess a bunch of things up and then it would be a headache for him. So uh, after the meeting, I think we both felt <coughs> comfortable with each other, and, uh, and it went really well. Uh, during the meeting, uh, there was a little bit more bad news. Uh, uh, relating to the first electrician that I, I brought in. I brought him in to kind of get me basically set up with an electrical box and everything when we were you know, working on the foundation and all that. And I, the first electrician, he apparently forgot to mention to me that in this area, and this is new to me, and apparently is new to the electrician that I hired earlier, um, you need to tie your grounding uh, wires not only into a grounding spike that gets driven into the ground, which is what I'm used to, which has been kind of the way for you know, decades, uh, you also are supposed to tie your ground to the rebar that is running through the footing of your house. That was something I wasn't aware of. Apparently, it was something that the electrician I hired wasn't aware of also, uh, and I missed the opportunity to do that. Now, I, I, we may be able to still connect in some way. I, I guess maybe you can drill in and tap into it, or maybe I can just, you know, it doesn't matter that it's necessarily the rebar in the footing. Maybe I can just buy some extra rebar and bury it under the ground like next to the footing it would kind of serve the same purpose because you get that much electrical exposure underground you know maybe we can just do something a little bit more simple like that so it's not crazy um, but uh, but yeah I found that out and then also there was some other issue with the power drop where you apparently put some pipes in upside down. The, the electrician that came today said it wasn't any big deal, it was just kind of odd that they had done it that way. So uh, overall, a good day, a few more bits of bad news, uh, but we're moving forward, we got stairs, we got a wall, we got an electrician that's cool with, uh, with working with me. So things are going ahead, just tooth and nail, just <laughs> dragging ourselves forward one bit at a time. Uh, the thing I'm dealing with right now actually is uh, walls. I really want to start building some walls up here. And these piles of lumber are totally in the way. I think I've got to move these. I was hoping that I would have used more of it up on the walls that I've built so far. But uh, this, as you can see, still a ton of it here. And I can only sheathe half of all these walls because we have to leave them open for electrical work. So uh, I think I'm just going to have to kind of jockey this stuff around, move it around, get it out of the way, and build. But overall, things are going all right. That's it. Thanks for watching.